Hey y'all, before we get into today's vlog, I'm just popping in from the future with a quick message. <laughs> a quick update for y'all. I have some very fantastic news I'm really excited to share. So in my last vlog, okay, I know I'm late, right? My last vlog, we had talked about doing a retreat 2.0, right? I had launched the retreat to Bali, Indonesia, and it sold out in less than an hour, and so many of you did not get a chance to book, and so I wanted to do a second retreat, right, so that I could offer you guys another opportunity to jet with me in 2025. So I went ahead and decided on a destination based on a bunch of your feedback from the survey I put out. Bali was number one and then Costa Rica was number two. So we are going to Costa Rica, y'all, around this time next year. So it's going to be Labor Day weekend. That is September 5th through the 8th, 2025. That is also me and Anthony's anniversary weekend. So we are definitely going to have a little moment on the trip where we celebrate that. And I want you guys to all join me. So right now, the trip is already live. It has already launched. There are still six spots left as of right this minute as I'm talking to y'all, okay? So there is still time to book and join us in Costa Rica if you'd like. I kind of wanted to go over the itinerary with y'all just really quick because of course, this trip is not as long as the Bali Indonesia one. I wanted this trip to be a little bit quicker, more accessible to folks not as far, right? So day one is the day that we're all gonna be meeting in Costa Rica. And so usually for day one, y'all, I like to do like a welcome dinner because I want to get to know everyone, see everybody face to face and give y'all y'all's VIP welcome bags. I wanna get that out of the way so that you have it for the duration of the trip. So that's usually what day one will bring. We're going to be in the heart of the Rincon de la Vieja uh, National Park. So we're gonna be like in the place to be for like experiencing the best of Costa Rica. I can't wait to experience the food once again I really liked the food when I was there y'all every time I've gone to Costa Rica I've enjoyed the food on day two we're going to head out and well firstly we're going to do a group yoga session and it's not gonna be no DIY yoga okay we're gonna be working with a local professional yoga instructor the reason I wanted us to start the trip that way because what better way to get grounded spiritually mentally emotionally in the new place than yoga I mean it's like the perfect way to kick off a rejuvenation heal sort of retreat and that's kind of the vibes for this one y'all I really want this to be a kind of healing moment very soothing for your spirit mind and body and so that's kind of where we're at with Costa Rica and for the yoga session I wanted it to be more of a sunrise experience so we're going to start our day that way and I saw some of the photos of some of the yoga sessions that take place at our hotel and it is so beautiful y'all super picturesque really a unique experience something you don't want to miss so we will start the day with a yoga session and then we're going to head over to the spa we have access to like so many luxurious activities y'all and we are going to be doing a spa day all of this is included in your booking you don't have to do any add-ons this is all included after our spa day i hope y'all join me over at the hot springs um i did the hot springs when i went to costa rica before because as y'all know i've been twice already this will be my third time going really enjoyed the hot springs they have the different ones so you can kind of like pick the temperature that fits you best of course i know i want the hot one so we had a great time there really awesome experience being able to see the active volcanoes we are going to be on the land where we have access and views of all of that so it's going to be quite amazing we'll have time that day to really rest and explore on our own if we want to we're going to kick off day three with breakfast and then we're going to go for a horseback ride through the forest it's going to be really really pretty i did horseback riding before when we went costa rica so i definitely want to make sure i added it to our itinerary because that's something that you want to experience the views and the experience of riding on the horses through the mountains like that is unmatched there's two ways i like to do horseback riding I like to do it either in the heels and everything so you get those views or on a beach Those are the two ways where I think it's just the most amazing experience We're also going to be able to visit the Oro Pendola waterfall So that's going to be awesome and then we're gonna have dinner together That's going to be our farewell dinner later that night and then on day four That's going to be departure day So as you guys can see it's going to be a really nice weekend like right an extended weekend I definitely want to connect with you guys over zoom of course leading up to the trip So we will be talking on Zoom, you and me, talking about the trip, figuring out flights, making sure, you know, people know, you know, that their passports are up to date. Like, I'm going to be like, guiding y'all through this and I did a similar thing when I took my dad in a group to Egypt it wasn't you know an official retreat but I was still kind of like the group lead and I was making sure everybody had everything they needed and that's kind of when I realized that I liked doing this and that's kind of how we got here so I'll go ahead and put the link below so you guys can not only go in and check out the itinerary in more detail but also you can sign up for the trip you only have to put 25% down and you'll have an entire year to pay it off and as you guys can see this particular itinerary has a little bit more luxury 
the inclusions on it. And we're staying at a really beautiful hacienda and I'm just so, so excited about it. So I wanted to give you guys a chance to book this trip. Check the link down below. Love you guys and I hope you can make it. Mwah. Let's get into the rest of the vlog. <laughs> are downstairs and just bring them up we got to keep in out of that living room baby because it's gonna be what well, do you think i mean for is that something that can wake up tomorrow nothing's gonna change tomorrow you see what i'm saying she's still gonna be here so i might as well do myself a, a, a solid and get it going tonight <sighs> yeah i thought i thought this through that's why it's on the, the night before list chaos Mm -hmm. It has ensued. No, no, Ann, that's not for you. No, no. No, get from over there. Move away from it. But I never get, I, I can't play with it anymore. I want to play. Don't play. Nobody play yourself. Nobody play yourself. Nobody play yourself. Nobody. 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 Use the cork remover and get it out. That's how you do that. It's in the drawer, the top drawer to the left of the bar. Anthony, I actually need it. Yeah, you walk off. Somebody pulled it over here. Zai Zai, <laughs> say hi. Hey. 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 Oh. Hi. Oh, oh. Hey. 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 Hey
Let me show y'all a little bit more of the setup here. By the way, good morning. Look how I look. Look how I look. Wow. Look at me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Gotta get it done. We are right on schedule. We wanted to have everything kind of set before noon. And it's kind of like coming up on noon right now. So we did good, but um, just a few, few little things. So this is our Ava's Grill area here. Okay, we got some seating for the children. Some on theme seating here. And then we have, of course, the wave station. This is just condiments and stuff, girl. We're gonna put some blue juice in there. So you'll be able to get your Abe the Wave cup. And then you see you got your you got your wave theme here. Everything elevated, so it should be pretty easy. We got some paper straws and things, some extra cups in the back. Okay, so here we got the condiments. They're gonna go in here once we get everything prepared and then this has like an ice compartment at the bottom so we can put ice underneath to keep this stuff cool so of course we're not gonna put it out just yet same thing over here I want to split the stations y'all so this is more for like condiments for your burger and then this is your hot dog and then the nacho jalapenos you know what I'm saying try to keep it separate so people aren't confused and then I went ahead and put up the signs well tweet put these up for me um, I printed these on my printer girl so those are our drinks y'all see how I did that see how I just separated it I printed two separate ones so we can make that work you know, those two bubbles there so I think it turned out nice it looks perfect honestly and then we have the inside of here kind of set up not yet you need your bathing suit so this is how we got this set up in here y'all it's real a hot one today so we got the fan going and we got the concession stand all set up y'all pretty much everything you would need so hopefully this won't be too miserable in here <laughs> there's airflow going in and out so it shouldn't be too too bad and then as the day goes by more shade is going to come on this area so it's not going to be cooking as much okay yeah you can water the flowers so we got ava's lamborghini out here with the big ava like a pull up type of thing like pull up pull up pull up on my uh snack wagon you know Super cute. And then we got a little play area over here for the little children. Try to accommodate all the different age groups. We got this ball pit. And then of course we moved the um, trampoline over here, put some balloons in there. And then jumped into the pool already. But we do have this little pool over here for the little littles, Ava included. Got a limbo, we got connect four. And there's our generator for the big slide that's gonna go up. You guys will see this momentarily. And what am I working on right now, you ask? I need to make sure this one is not blowing in the wind. Look at my stuff blowing in the wind. So we got this little backdrop here. We're gonna put the balloon garland over the top so you can take pictures and stuff. And our DJ is gonna go right there. So there's the chaos. I mean, chaos in every way, honey. Chaos in every way. I'm just gonna use this fastener to keep this from blowing all around. It is a hot one. Like, everybody's getting a tan today. There we go, that's not going anywhere. Ooh, it's so hot. Ugh. My neighbor's gonna be like, what in the? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't trust those stickies like that, but I didn't know they were that All the chaos is happening, so it is 2.55. Okay, I'm just covering up my scars, girl. The uh, party starts in five minutes, but I don't think people are gonna be here right at the start. The DJ is setting up, putting the final touches on his setup. Me and Mumu are just trying to hurry up and get dressed so we can at least be dressed if people do come on time. But I'm pretty much wearing what I'm gonna wear. It is so hot, y'all, it's like almost 90 degrees. So it's a great day for the kids to want to cool off but it's like we have to be careful, make sure everybody's staying hydrated and stuff. But yeah, I'm just wearing, girl, so bloated, about to start my cycle. Um, this Shein number that I showed y'all previously when I did a little try on, so I felt like this would be so perfect because it's so conservative, but yeah, I'm still able to not get too hot. Yeah, that's how I'm rolling. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, concealer, some of those obvious blemishes, girl, and then we're not doing any 
full face of anything. We're just going under eye and then those two marks on my head. And I got my edges cooking, girl. We are stuck with these janky braids, but I'm like, you know what? They're just gonna get all nasty and hot anyway. I might as well just leave them in one last weekend. And that way I can take them out and wash my hair and do the whole routine. Plus I got some products I wanna try. Girl, they're in my P.O. box. I gotta go and get them. So I didn't wanna wash my hair with what I already have. I wanna use the new stuff. So I'm like, let me just wait. One more weekend won't hurt. And Anthony actually left to go get like an extension for the water hose, girl, because we need that for that water slide. So he's gone to do that. He's also picking up little cousins. And then he'll be making his way back. It's three o'clock on the dot right now. Um, but I got my sister-in-law downstairs um, looking after Anne. And Ava is actually asleep. So when she wakes up, I'm gonna get her ready. Kay and her husband are downstairs finishing up the food so everything will be nice and juicy and hot so yeah y'all it's like a whole team effort like I could not have done this without my sisters y'all Moo Moo on the balloon garland like insane like it I could no no way I could have done this myself so all of the little crafts and stuff that I was working on up until this point yes I can do those by myself I don't need no help with none of that and I can also work at my own pace over a period of days or weeks if I need. But the day of execution, y'all, I be needing all hands on deck. So it's been like literally like 10 people just today helping me. More people are on their way to help me like pull off this production. And I'm so excited because it's so much fun. It's so much love. The vibes are on 10. The vibes are on a thousand, okay? I am in my zone, y'all. I just love this family moment, this togetherness, this teamwork. It's just, it feels so good. And I get to see my family who I don't get to see every day, you know, so it's great. Hey girls. Hey. Hey, Auntie Tweetie.
How you doing? Oh, let me get you in the sunlight. Let me get you in the sunlight. Oh, look at sis with the coral on. Let me see the hair. Let me see the hair. Oh, the curving on curving. Yes. Okay. Happy birthday, Ava. It's cool. It's cool. You get a pass. Well, I'm so glad y'all actually come. We got a picture. Send me what we took. Oh, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> I see you, girl. You too old for this. You too old for this. <laughs> huh? Flash, bragging on the song. She didn't get past, but that chat never spelled. Love that. What's up, baby girl? Ava is the big one. I got them going on already. Oh, I love it. Uh -huh. It's all it's all tore up now, yeah, but so cute. you did a, such a good job. Everything is so cute. Okay. Yeah. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Kid, That's right? the big kid. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it, bro? It was fun. <laughs> Come on. Hell no. It was ever giving body adi. Body adi. morning y'all it's days later okay welcome back welcome back it's been days it's been days i just got back from the gym uh <laughs> like two hours ago i'm like look change clothes for what because i'm about to get sweaty once again organizing and putting all this stuff away so it has been 
Uh, well, it's been a whole day. So all day yesterday has passed and then it's a new day. So two days later after the party, I've just been trying to get my life back together, you know, taking it easy, having to get people to the airport and like the whole thing about saying goodbye and stuff or see you later. And then just kind of trying to get back into the groove, you know, and going to school today, you know, getting my house back restored and that sort of thing. I was able to get my kitchen back to normal immediately, right? Almost immediately, like the next morning, the kitchen was back to normal. But there was a lot of stuff still in the yard that I was just like, yeah, I'll wait, because I know it's gonna take a while to like find places for all this new stuff, storage and things. So I'm kind of in the midst of that now. I've gotten a ton of it done. I'm probably 80% done, but there's just a few pending items because some things I'm confused about where I should put and then it's a lot of trash so it's piles of trash that have to be put out when the trash runs so I gotta find somewhere to put it in the meantime I, that's the part I hate about throwing parties because you gotta hold on to your trash before you can put it out see in the city you can put that stuff out you know you gotta worry about it but in the burbs it's like trash runs on a schedule and you don't want to have all that crap in front of your house all that time while you wait for the trash to run. So I'm kind of storing everything in the garage here. So my car is still in the driveway. There's still nowhere to park. But the good news with a lot of this leftover food, like the chips, the pops, the nachos, um, the family reunion is coming up this weekend. So I can just take that stuff right over to there and we can have those kind of, you know, outdoor in the park type snacks, which I think will be super appropriate. So we're just gonna do that with the leftover pops and all of that. I've been doing a pretty good job getting everything back into storage, y'all. That's the big concession stand inflatable right there. So that fit perfectly in my rack for all of my camping stuff. Let's just stick that right at the bottom there. And I got my ladder out because I'm putting stuff up top. And uh, this is my bin for tablecloths and all the kind of leftover pops and chips. And then I just gotta break a lot of these boxes down to make them smaller so I can stash everything over here with the trash. And my good old trusty treat wall. I'm probably gonna stick that in the basement for now once I strip all of the little trinkets off of it. Girl, I have so many neon lights and so, so far they're just being stored in this box right here. And then this surfboard. I don't know if I need to keep this, y'all. I really am not sure. I know it has some sentimental value, but I don't really be keeping stuff for sentimental value. I'll be taking pictures of it and then having it live in eternity that way. Hey, Ava, Ava. There's my grass wall, gotta put that somewhere. And uh, coolers airing out. Gonna break that rug down over there and just get the, all these balls back in storage. That's the breakdown. Everything is restored back to normal. Florals. Look at my impatience. They did so good this year. I was so proud of my impatience. And I wanted to show y'all my Wandering Jew plant. This is my first time trying this one. And I loved it so much, y'all, this one really multiplied i mean you get your money's worth with this and it is absolutely so pretty for like that hanging effect out of your pot that cascading hanging effect so i will be getting that one again of course i always love my spikes turned out so good there was basically no um like food and junk clean up because everybody pretty much cleaned up after themselves. It was mostly like the popped balloons because balloons were popping left and right. I don't know if y'all peeped. It was just like balloon debris everywhere. So I had to take some time to pick all of that up. Balloons outside is just sometimes like hit or miss because on hot days, it could be a disaster, a small disaster. Let me turn this volume down a little bit. So in real time, Mumu is still in town, right? She's still here. Kay and the family all went back. It was so bittersweet, the kids were crying. It was just, it's always really emotional every time we have to separate from them. Whether it's us leaving DC or them leaving Chicago. But we got them off and everybody, you know, made it home safely. My cousin Tierra and her family, they made it home safely. Who else flew in? That was it for the air travelers, right? Um, and then as you guys saw, the vlogging was extremely, this was probably my worst vlogged video ever. Y'all let me know in the comments if you've seen worse from me, but this was one of the worst. Like, I didn't even know where my camera was for half the party, right? And then when I finally saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I did sit it there. I was like, hey, Mumu, can you vlog? So Mumu was trying to walk around with the camera. My brother-in-law was trying to get some footage. It was just a, it was like a small disaster when it came to the documenting part. I was like, next time I do this, I definitely want to just hire a photographer and I might just have to hire someone just to do the social media um, captures, just too much and that 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 day showed me that I am not equipped to keep that kind of stuff up so the next one will be different I will have people in place but baby I was struggling 
and it was also a little bit of you know me just having an amazing time like it was just so good I loved it so much it was just so much good energy like coming from every direction it was just overwhelming I was having such a great a great time Ava was getting loved on you know so so much you know she was spending time with her mommy but also spending time with other family members you know, people were taking pictures, they were playing with her, she was being able to enjoy her little pool, her little slide, you know, she was eating some of everything. Uh, so it was really, really good in that sense. You know, like I said, I didn't get to capture a whole lot. Even when I did have my camera, there were so many police and stuff in here and people with privacy issues and stuff that I was just keeping it to a minimum regardless. So that's, that's a given, that's gonna happen whether I have help with the filming or not. If people are like, I don't wanna be on here, then you know, we have to respect that. Yeah, Ava got so many presents. Let me show y'all her presents. Now we definitely didn't want a whole bunch of toys. We told people basically not to even get us toys. We told people that we wanted um, books Look at me. <laughs> we told people we wanted books and um, and clothes. And then I had like a small uh, wish list on Amazon with a few like, you know, toddler-esque things that we could use. And people, people stuck to that to the T. So let me see what all we got here. Some more deliveries actually just came this morning. So uh, Ava is playing with some of the toys that came this morning. With a little Miss Rachel in the background there. So yeah, all the cute little bags and things. It just reminded me of the days when Ann turned one and we had all those presents and things. We got a lot of learning activities, a ton of cards. I'm gonna have to go through all this stuff. Hey baby. Too much sun on that baby, mommy. Get too much sun, mommy. Yeah. Uh, what else we got going here? We got some Eric Carl flashcards. Flashcards, right? Oh, little books. Whole books, not flashcards. And you know, things like this, you know, because we're transitioning her over, and then lots of clothes and lots of books. Somebody got us a whole bag of books. You know, just a whole situation there. So we 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 got her some nice stuff. Some cool books. Cool books. Okay. So yeah, girl. Oh my goodness. Ava girl. Look, oh Ava, my dad got her a bunch of outfits. Um, I haven't seen them yet, but he was like, yeah, you're gonna have to take these back and exchange them for a larger size. He got her all 12 month, and I think she's um, close to 18 month for the sizing. So we're probably gonna have to do that. And also somebody got us like a bike. What is this? Somebody got us a balance bike. Also, somebody got us one of those playpen things where it's like, you know, you have like the mesh sides that come up and then the like the little cushion in the middle so she can kind of have that area in the center to play and explore safely. So it's just a, it's a lot of things here. So I'm gonna go through and sort and put everything away. So that's kind of the, you know, idea for today. I just wanna get a lot of sorting done putting things in storage where they belong, making things so that I can easily find them for the next event, stuff like that. I know a lot of y'all um, wanted to see more of how I was able to flip that tree wall. And of course, as you know, the footage for that, I had recorded it, but it had gotten destroyed by accident by Ann. But I was able to film some stuff on my phone because I knew I wanted to make like an Instagram reel. So if y'all wanna see, you know, how I revamped it, the quick version, just go over on Instagram. I would have already posted it by the time you guys see this video. So go check it out, it's over there. It's got details, but it's quick. You know, you still get to see kind of the process. <laughs> so yeah, shortly here, Anthony, he's on his way down the stairs. I can hear him, he's gonna go to the gym. And then um, Mumu's flight is later this evening. So I'm gonna take her to the airport. So she'll be coming over here soon. I kind of wanted us to get a run in together because we haven't ran together in a long time. So I'll see if we have time. How did you like the party, huh? Tell them. It was the best party I attended for a one year old. Aww.
Okay, these are the items that I'm gonna be keeping. I took those letters and seashells off of here so I could use them for another time. Who knows, you know, maybe someone will need to borrow this so they can do an ocean theme or whatever. So I'm just gonna keep this stuff. This can always be painted over. You know, this isn't the right color. And of course, this can be painted, y'all know that. Yep, I'll just leave it. You never know. Oh yeah, and remember I was telling y'all about that no-show rate, so we did have a few people who weren't able to make it. But also, y'all, I forgot to like, there were some people who were leaving without their gift bags too. So that was the other thing. So I think if it wasn't for that, I would have had just enough bags for all the kids. But instead I ended up having like, I think there were like four extra bags left over. One of them I threw away because it had got like some water on it. So I just threw it away. But I got these three left. So what I just decided was to just save this stuff and I can just give it to the trick or treaters. <laughs> Okay, y'all, it's been days. Oh, you can't even see me. Okay, it's been days. Um, I'm sitting here about to finish taking my braids out. We had to run to run some errands really quick. Girl, look at this. So I had to go outside looking crazy. But we ordered some Chinese food and we're sitting here enjoying it watching Bel Air. And um, y'all, I gotta close this vlog out because there's a lot going on. Martina is on her way with her family. They are on the road driving to Chicago. So they're coming here. Her dad is retiring this weekend and there's a party and everything. Shout out to <laughs> Lieutenant Norwood, okay? Um, fire department retirement party on the way. And then my family reunion is this weekend. I'm hosting that and everything. So it's just a lot going on. I'm like, let me pop in here and just bid them adieu. I will see y'all next Sunday because I'm going to be vlogging. I'm actually going to close out this vlog and then start um, vlogging for the next vlog. So you guys will see my crazy weekend in the next one. So I will talk to y'all then. Get these braids out, honey. Look at my hair. It's just growing and growing. Getting so long. It's almost as long as the braids. Girl, that's why I be having to braid these down so far because my hair is just so long. Look at that. And that's where I cut the ends off. The curly little ends. I cut those off. So, snip snip. About to enjoy my crab rangoon here. Yeah. And my shrimp fried rice. And watch the rest of Bel Air. Talk to y'all next Sunday. Bye.